If my son wasn't taking a nap, I would scream right now. I'm so excited. I just got my Dahlia Tubers. I got my Discovering Dahlia's book a couple days ago. I've been waiting to open until I could film an unboxing for you guys. And as most of you know, there's seeds inside. So we have Dahlia Seeds, we have the Dahlia Book, and we have Dahlia Tubers. I'm so excited for this gardening season because I've literally just discovered Dahlia's this year. And I'm so, so excited to try out so many new varieties. Let's get on into this video because I've been waiting long enough. All right, guys. So I've got my cup of coffee and I am ready to dive in. I feel like I showed a lot, a lot of self-control by not digging into this book. It's so beautiful. The pictures just don't do it justice. And if you don't know who this is, uh, this woman, uh, she she started, she's actually still on a little two-acre farm. Uh, she started out growing cut flowers, and she she's just really made a name for herself in the cut flower industry. And from the videos that I've watched, she really did a, you know, did a lot of work uh, breeding dahlias and researching dahlias and, you know, finding ones that have really good strong stems and uh, really long stems, ones that hold up longer in a vase, uh, you know, the ones that have the, the best characteristics to them. So let's open it. I just love their seed packets. So it looks like we got a bookmark in addition to the Dahlia seeds. Sorry, I didn't explain what this is. So of all of the Dahlias that she, you know, bred and researched, she saved some of the seeds and included these for everyone that pre-ordered the book. So I got mine, you know, I pre-ordered mine. So I got the seeds. With dahlias, you don't know what you're going to get. You could get, you know, if you save seeds from a pink ball dahlia, you could get, you know, it could cross-pollinate with anything. Um, I know with most flowers, you can cover the bloom and it won't, you know, it will prevent bees or butterflies from cross-pollinating it with something. But with dahlias, for some reason, I don't know if it's... Uh, that they're hard to prevent a bee or a butterfly from cross-pollinating it or that they just automatically just, it's not like a stable thing uh, within the seed. It has to be grown from a tuber for you to ensure that you are going to grow that same plant. So we don't know what these are going to be, but I don't care because I know they're going to be beautiful. And it looks like she just included a thank you note and she signed all the books also. Uh, she's doing some contests and giveaways uh, for anyone that pre-ordered the book. Uh, you can, you know, enter them. And she is giving away Dahlia tubers as well as lots of other gifts. So, oh, that would just be lovely to win some Dahlia tubers. Especially some of her beautiful Dahlias. And then this is... I think the same, yeah, this is the same thing that I got with my seed order from Florette, which I also, uh, I did a seed haul from Florette Seeds, if you want to check that out after this video, and this just talks about some of her workshops uh, on her blog. I just keep wanting to look at the cover of the book. So it looks like she has some color-coded some of them, it looks like she has them color coded. <laughs> I can't talk. I'm just like, ugh. In her book, A Year in Flowers and A Cut Flower Garden, she has just some of the most beautiful arrangements. And I love that she takes pictures of everything that's in the arrangement. Like, see, here's the arrangement. And she takes pictures of everything by itself, which a lot of books, 
they'll list what they have in the arrangement. But if you're a newbie, then you don't know, you know, that does you no good <laughs> to know that Sierra Glow is in here. I don't know about you, but I think any of those could be Sierra Glow. So that doesn't do me any good. But she takes pictures of them and labels them individually. So if you want, you know, if you see a flower you love and you just have to have like this one, I just love, you can look that up and try to get your hands on it. So I have seen on Instagram, I haven't looked at any of the videos, but I have seen on, well, I'm lying. I did watch Laura from Garden Answers, uh, part of her unboxing. But I did read on Instagram, a lot of people were talking, you know, just about uh, what's included. And they said that it really goes over a lot of things in detail, like propagating them from cuttings, uh, starting them from seed, and, you know, tips for growing them, and just, just everything that you could possibly need to know about dahlias. She has it in this book. And I think she has, like, between 500 and 700 uh, varieties that she researched. I don't know how many she bred. I know that she was breeding dahlias and then, you know, saving the tubers and taking cuttings to increase the, the stock, um, but I don't know how many she bred. And now, what do you say we start some of these seeds? I don't know about you, but that sounds good to me. I wonder how many are in here because it doesn't feel like there's very many. And... I actually have already tried like three rounds of dahlias from seed, and I don't know why, but they keep dying. They will look really healthy up until about, they, they get their first set of true leaves, and then they start to die. Their seed leaves will start to wilt and turn brown, and then the true leaves do it. I've tried cutting back on the water. I've tried using, <clears throat> I've tried using distilled water. I've tried you know, different things, and I don't know what the problem is. Um, nothing else in my grow room is having a problem. So maybe it's the seeds. I don't know. But we are going to give these a go. And hopefully we will have luck with them. Oh, I didn't tell you how many seeds. So it looks to be maybe about 20 seeds, give or take. So I checked my email and I think that some of these are my gladiolus corms and some of these are my dahlia tubers. So we'll just have to open them and see. All right, yeah, so these are my gladiolus. And then this should be some of the dahlia tubers. And this isn't all of the ones I ordered. I ordered some from a couple different companies. These are the ones that I ordered from Dutch Bulbs. So it looks like two of the varieties are in this box or bag. K. Von Bergendine is the website, but it's it's called they call it's also called Dutch Bulbs. So it looks like Cafe Ole and Fairway Spur is in this package. I was also, I was curious if they were gonna be clumps or just individual tubers, and it looked, well, they're obviously clumps. Uh, they're not really large clumps, but they feel pretty good size based off of what I've seen. Unfortunately, my peonies looked like a whole lot of nothing that I ordered from them, so I was worried that these would be, oh, it looks like so this is broken into three pieces, I can tell. Oh no, wait a minute, there's supposed to be three. So, let me see. Yeah, so this isn't one big tuber. This is multiple tubers in here. That's right, I totally forgot. There's multiple tubers. I think they were the ones that had them three, four, like three, four, I don't know if it was $30 or what the price was. So, so okay, good. They're not broken. They're just, there's just multiple of them. <laughs> so, next, let's start some seeds. 
ran out of memory again. I don't know what I was saying, or I don't know where I was at, but I was just saying that these are all of my seeds that I'm going to be starting in this next week. Well, next couple weeks, I have them separated with what I'm starting now and then what I need to start next week, and then I'll start pulling out other things as it comes time. There's definitely more seeds than what you see there. So looking at my plan for the perennial cut flower garden, it looks like I saved room for 12 dahlias from seed. So I'm going to start probably about 15 or 16 just because I know there's, you know, possibly going to be a little loss. And I'm going to use the same thing that I use for seed starting, which is a peat moss and cocoa coir mixture. Uh, but this time I'm going to use a lot more perlite and vermiculite to help with drainage. Maybe they're staying wet for too long. Um, I'm also going to use these little snack cups. Um, I like these because they have a little lid, which makes like a little mini greenhouse to, you know, keep them nice and moist until you see those first signs of green growth. You don't want to let them dry out, any seed dry out until it has germinated because that usually causes them to you know become inviolable uh, you want to make sure they stay evenly moist all the way up until germinating and then you can start treating them like a regular plant and you know let them dry out a little bit between waterings depending on what you're growing some things like to dry out quite a bit uh, before you know being watered again and then some things like to stay consistently moist it just depends so I thought about waiting until they were ready to be planted outside and just planting them in a separate video, but I'm afraid that if I try to store them myself that they're either going to get too dry and like die or I don't know. I'm just worried. I'm going to take some old nursery cans and go ahead and pot these up. Well, I hate to end this video on such a negative note, but unfortunately it looks like all of these are a bust. Um, Almost all of them are broken or mushy. None of them have any eyes that I can see. There's one that maybe is possibly going to have one eye on it. But again, like all of the tubers coming off of them are broken. So, I guess we're not going to be planting up any dahlias after all in this video. I just wanted to give you an update at the end of this video. I haven't posted it yet uh, and I'm glad I didn't because... I went ahead and potted these guys up and so I didn't have you know very much um, you know confidence in these uh, but I went ahead and potted them up I figured you know I've already spent all this money I'm gonna go ahead and pot them up but I'm still gonna call the company and let them know well I'm glad I did because we have green growth look at that so three of the cafe au lait's have green growth. I'm so excited. Um, the other ones are super tiny. You probably won't be able to see them. And by the way, we're in uh, the bathroom in my office uh, that like we don't use this shower. So anyway, sorry about the echo. But yeah, um, I put them in here because they say that you need to put them in somewhere warm. Uh, you want to make sure that the potting soil is a little bit moist, but not, you know, really wet. Uh, so what I've been doing is checking it every day and like you can see it's super dry for the most part but like in just a couple spots I would spray with my little hand sprayer just for like two seconds because I didn't want them to rot since some of them already were feeling like mushy. Um, I haven't had any mold issues. Uh, with them being in the bathroom or anything like that. So I'm super excited. Um, hopefully these will all start showing at growth. And these, I even put all of the little broken pieces of tubers in these two here. Um, just because I'm crazy and I'm like, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe they don't have to have a neck and, you know, eyes. You know, what's the worst that could happen? They They don't grow. Look at this. I can see roots. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that anything is going to, you know, pop up and, you know, produce any blooms. You know, it is possible that it sends out roots and, you know, never produces anything. But, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, so if you get tubers in the mail and they don't have any eyes or, you know, a lot of the tubers are broken, still plant them. Uh, because as you can see, we have, we have green shoots popping up. All right, guys, well, 
that's gonna be it for the video. Now I'm gonna finish editing this and get it posted for you guys.